Greetings to one and all. Time has ceased and space has vanished. Now we are living in a global village, says Marshall McLuhan. We are living in a world leavened of space and time. From the messages sent from the bigs of pigeons, now we are living in a world where satellites rule the space. Yes, the world has changed from the very point and the youth of tomorrow is being changed constantly. A person without personality, we can't imagine such a person. Why is this happening? Why is our youth being constantly changed? Why are they not willing to lend a helpful hand to their fellow beings? Why are they tucking headphones in their ears? Why are they tucking earphones in their head and moving away from the social cues? This is all because of the degeneration of moral values or human values that a person needs in her, his or her life. Why is this happening? Because of the media overuse nowadays. The 21st century men are being addicted to media civilization. They are constantly using media and thereby moving away from the society. As Ignatius Leola says, if he or she can do, then why can't I? Yes, I have to realize that I can be the change. I can be that person who can lend a helpful hand to their social beings. Yes, I can be that change. I can be a person who is fully de developed in moral values. Without degeneration of moral values and human values being a constant picture of the day, the pathetic picture of the 21st century, I can build a new picture. The youth, the leaders of tomorrow can build a nation where or the youth of tomorrow is those persons with a great personality. Like Mahatma Gandhi, Mother Teresa, Jawaharlal Nehru, Abdul Kalam, all these personalities who walked in front of us, they showed the way, they guide the way, and they walked through the way. Like those persons, the youth of tomorrow can become good personalities with moral values and personal values, thereby hearing the social cues and develop a prosperous tomorrow. According to William Wordsworth, life can be divided into three. Life which was, which is, and which will be. Learn from the past, thereby we can change in the present and thereby build a good future. Yes, our future should be decided by us. We should be that change, like Mahatma Gandhi said, you should be the change you wish to see in the tomorrow. Yes, we should be that change. We should be the new persons or that person who can lend a helpful hand. Our personality should be that guiding star to the next generation. Yes, we should be that change. According to Saint Paul who said that, strip the old self and wear a new one. Yes, we should strip our old self, which is degenerated, which is not having a good personality, which is not having self-esteem, which is not having courage. We should build a new personality. That personality which has courage, which has self-esteem, which has respect and which has social cues and which is fully developed with personality or moral values. We are destined to be the pillars of tomorrow. We are the youth who decides the future and that youth should be well developed in personality. According to Abdul Kalam, there are three persons who can change the life of a person. Father, mother and a teacher. Yes. The schooling should start from the home, the first school, the home. The parents are the one who should guide the good way or the good path to their children. And the schools, the teachers are the other personalities who can guide the budding blooms. As teacher and a student can be related as a lapidary and a gem. As a lapidary carves a gem so that a teacher carves a student. Yes, thereby teacher marks a good role in making a good future. So, the change should start from now. Yes, and that change lies with me, lies with you, lies with the society. We are the future. We are the next generation. So, let us build a society which is developed with personality, which is full of moral values, which is full of social cues. Let us be that person who are willing to lend a helpful hand to their social beings to the society. Let's be the change as Mahatma Gandhi wished. Let's join hands. Thank you.